we're going to speak about the aging process, why it is happening, how that will affect our skin and how to fight it. The first thing is to understand what happened to our cells. Over the time, the skin slowed down its functional speed. So cells work slower and slower until forget about their functions. Some cellular and molecular roads are modified over the years, but with a proper customized treatment, this process can be delayed or even reversed. Dermal fibroblasts are essential to produce collagen and other proteins that build the dermis and keep the self-repair mechanisms. As we age, the dermis loses the ability to maintain the collagen and elastin production, and consequently, its ability to repair itself. At that time, aging process has begun. External factors UV radiation produces direct modifications to DNA and proteins. Chemicals and heavy metals block the skin's detoxification. Smoke gets stuck on the skin surface, choking it and generates a free radical chain production. And all of them create unenzymatic modifications. Internal factors Hormonal changes can submit our cells to functional alterations. Disease can affect the regular cell functions. Stress, one of the diseases of the 21th century, not only for his mental war, but also for the submitting our body to run as if it was the last sprint. This means a greater consumption of resources that should be those in a longer period of time and our cells are attacked by a greater number of reactive oxygen species. Lack of sleep. Cells regenerate and perform their functions overnight. If we don't sleep the same hours each day, this causes a debt to cell regeneration, and that means premature aging. Nutrition. If we don't consume the necessary nutrients, essential amino acids, vitamins, proteins in balance, and we also ingest a high amount of sugar, our cells collapse and cannot perform their functions, creating a fibrillar fragility that will lead to a loss of firmness in the tissues. Temperature. Thermal regulation is one of the main functions of the skin. We constantly force it to adapt to the environment by consuming extra resources. These factors lead us to classify the aging process in two, external aging and internal aging. External aging is not directly proportioned to the internal, but it causes a totally different damage and that can be avoided. Internal aging, we can stop it, but it can be slowed down. We know them better as chronoaging and photoaging. Chronoaging is directly related with our lifestyle, has a very important part, which is genetics. But even with the same genetics, chronoaging can be different between people. For example, a monk with the same routine day after day, with no chime, with no mortgage, eating at the same time every single day, sleeping eight hours daily it will have a complete different chronoaging than me. Photoaging is directly related to our habits and care throughout our lives. If we are more exposed to those external factors, we get more photoaging and DNA damages, so aging process, it will appear prematurely. To carry out a correct diagnosis, we must identify the call signs, and for that, we need our eyes, our hands, and the information provided by our client. If the skin is thicker or thinner, if that change in thickness happens all over the face or only in certain areas, if the morphology of the facial oval has begun to change, if expression lines are visible even when we don't force mimic, if the skin is more reactive than before or cannot stand 
temperature changes or got red very easily in the shower. Another very obvious sign of aging is the appearance of hyperpigmentation. Even touch becomes more rough, showing not homogeneous anymore. We can see an increase of appearance of telangiectasias and redness, especially in the central part of the face. Eyes start showing puffness. The skin resources are less, so shows more dry and less elastic. And also the skin presents movement when it is manipulated and does not easily return to its original state. We can see that the skin lost its feeling and pulposity. To avoid the aftermath of aging process, it is necessary to present the essential and correct functioning of the stem cells, know the aging biomarkers and offer the right resources to correct the dysfunctions involved. But what are the aging biomarkers? Biomarkers are indicators that are used in the field of medical research to measure processes and biological responses. Life can be measured by two types, two types of ages, the chronological and the biological. Chronological age measures time lapse since birth. It is a concept that has a social value. The biological age is the one that corresponds with the functional state of the organs compared to the standardized patterns for an age. It is a physiological concept that speaks with real aging precision, since it measures the state of health of an organism. Which are the main aging biomarkers of the skin? We know four parameters that indicate the state of skin breakdown. The activity of progenerin protein, B16. The state of cellular niche. The length of telomeres and the level of cellular oxidation. Nowadays, all of these parameters with customized cosmetics can be regulated. Activity of protein P16. P16 protein gen remains inactive in our organisms until the moment it suffers a mutation, for reasons that are still unknown. Increased expression of P16 protein starts the cellular aging process, reduce stem cells proliferation and this reduction in cell division and production of cells accelerates the aging of organs and tissues. The amount of P16 active in our skin is a biomarker highly indicative of biological age of the skin. The state of cellular niche if we want that the stem cells can make effectively their functions, reproduction, transmission of cellular information, it is essential to promote an increase in the levels of crucial proteins. They maintain stem cells properly attached to its physiological microenvironment, also known as a niche. Protecting the cells from the signals that will lead to cellular aging and stimulate their reproductive functions. The reduction of these proteins in the cell niche, it is a clear biomarker of cutaneous biological age. The length of the telomeres. Telomeres are the structures that protect the end of the chromosomes. Every time a cell it divides, its telomere shortens and its regeneration it is physiologically impossible. So shortening of the telomeres inevitably leads to the cell death. To prevent shortening and therefore premature skin aging, it is essential to increase significantly the hyaluronic acid, at least 33% plus, that acts protecting the telomere and minimizing shortening. Knowing the length of the telomeres is an essential biomarker to date the biological age of the tissue. The regulation of oxidative damage. Over time, the cell's antioxidant mechanisms minimize the action against free radicals, decay in their capacity and action of protein recycling inside the mitochondria, and is not enough to eradicate free radicals. 
the proteasome protein complex located inside cells breaks down and recycles proteins that have been damaged by oxidative stress. Its action decreases, so presence of free radical increases with the consequent devastation of the cells. Note the biomarker that indicates free radical levels is essential for establishing the biological age of the skin. We can divide into groups the more effective tools to maintain the biomarkers in ideal parameters. We have the mechanicals and the chemicals. Mechanicals are techniques that stimulate or favor the correct functioning of the cellular process, like microneedling, mesotherapy, radiofrequency, or laser. In the chemical group are active ingredients that stimulate and correct the cellular functions, like peptides, amino acids, and vitamins. Microneedling performed by a dermapen induces the production of endogenous collagen increases the tissue oxygenation because of the hyperemia, way that guarantee the full distribution of oxygen and essential nutrients to all the tissues by the blood irrigation, and favors the penetration of the active ingredients we are using. Virtual mesotherapy is the creation of artificial channels in the skin by electric pulses, ensures the penetration of the active ingredients and their uniform distribution. Mesola is an electroporation device that guarantees the absolute absorption of the active ingredients at the tissue we want to work, epidermis, dermis or hypodermis. Provides comfort and well-being to the skin, sealing the skin's surface evenly and safely. Radiofrequency achieves transdermal action in different skin layers, specifically using a pineapple frequency system, able to work from the most superficial layers to the deepest. Using the different frequency ranges, we achieve optimal results for each treatment, not achievable with conventional equipment. Radiofrequency is an electromagnetic radiation that produces a rotational movement of molecules that cause a release of heat and an increase of the cellular metabolism. Lab system actions are collagen lifting and thermal damage, increasing heat shock proteins 47, metabolic acceleration and cell apoptosis. Most essential vitamins cannot be made by the body. A deficiency of vitamins in a diet can produce disorders and serious illness. Vitamins can be divided in two main groups, water-soluble and fat-soluble. Vitamins are also antioxidant. They are responsible to stabilizing free radicals action, inhibit its oxidation and protect the organs and system that might be affected. Also, vitamins are precursors of coenzymes, this means that vitamin molecule, with a small change in its structure, it becomes an important molecule for the activation to other enzymes. An amino acid is an organic molecule with an amino group and a carboxyl group. They play a key role in almost all the biological processes. They are the base of proteins. Amino acids help to break down food, grow and repair the body tissues. Also can be a source of energy, allowing the muscles contractions and maintaining the balance between acids and bases in an organism. Of the nearly 250 amino acids that exist, 20 are considered important and essential for the proper functioning of the body. We can divide it into group, essential and non-essential. The essential are those that body does not produce and must be acquired through food. And non-essential are the amino acids that body can produce itself. Peptides have many functions in the body. These molecules are part of many metabolic processes. 
and we can divide them in different groups. Oligopeptide is a link for with less than 10 amino acids. Polypeptide is a link formed by more than 10 amino acids. And proteins are a link formed by more than 50 amino acids. The peptides or biomimetic peptides are defined as um, cellular messengers. Their function is to send a message to the cell receiver to activate or deactivate a certain stimulus that will put a specific cellular function underway. Depending on the type of peptide, these will have different functions. The main functions are stimulate, repair, regenerate, inhibit and transport. In the formula, it is important to find different types of active ingredients to offer a response to all tissues and cells, like extracts, peptides, proteins, oils or vitamins. All these main ingredients can be found in my coat line. My coat is a new and revolutionary concept, especially designed to prevent and fight the effects of age. Customizing each treatment through a unique coat that deals intensively with the global needs of the skin. Six special concentrates, especially formulated with highly effective active ingredients that act directly on different problems. Each concentrate has a target action on each type of cell, tissue or skin element. My coat is a full range line, professional and home care to fight against all signs of aging process.